Hey, my name is Victor Marks. It's great to be here with you. This is our first video for YouTube that's instructional. And I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. And today, I think we're over 12 million views on our channel. So thank you for that. I'm going to be demonstrating how not to get knocked out. There's tons of different ways, fighting styles, techniques, all of that. And you know what? Most of them are good, but not all of them work, okay? So we're very pragmatic and realistic about self-defense. We teach a style called Keichi Do, but I'm not here to promote the style. I'm here to help you keep from getting knocked out. I'm gonna use one of my top black belts, Mr. Jeff Crothers. And uh, uh, we're, we're just demonstrating this. First of all, positioning. When somebody's coming up on you, never keep your hands down. That's a good way to get knocked out because some people are very fast and slick and pop, you get down uh, and you won't get back up for a while. So if anybody is in a posture that's aggressive, just put your hands up and go, hey man, calm down, <laughs> dude, calm down. Now, a lot of people, especially big old tough fighters, they have a hard time with keeping their hands open because it makes them feel like, well, this ain't really, I just want to knuckle it up. Well, you still can, but we're doing this for two reasons. One, if you have to defend yourself, what's the difference between this and this? Well, it's about a millisecond when you go like this, boom, boom, and put out, knock them out. But you need witnesses that are going to say, well, you know, the Smurf grandpa dude, uh, his hands were open, and then, you know, the Black Ranger, ah, you know, uh, Dr. Destroyer, uh, he, he was just aggressive. So that's what they're gonna say in court and on the police report, okay? So we're just being realistic. So hey man, calm down, calm down, all right? Now, the positioning of my hands, I'll give you a little different angle. Come right here for a second. I wanna put one hand up by his face, the other hand like this. I, I wanna keep this arm up a little bit. And this arm's gonna be down just a hair. And let me tell you why. The most common type of punch is a right hook punch, haymaker, whatever you say, generally speaking. The person wants to knock you out, that's his knockout punch, okay? So, since we know that, we're gonna keep our hands up so that we don't get knocked out, okay? The first thing we do is, we know he's probably gonna throw that. This one, he's not gonna throw a jab because my hand's right there. But if the guy is just swinging for your head, we're gonna put our hand behind our head, just like this. Grab it, tight, just like that. On this side, we're gonna put this hand here to protect our face, just like this. We call this turtling up. It looks like this, boom. It looks like this, boom. Our hands are here. Hey man, calm down. <laughs> Come on, whoa, just like that, all right? If he hits anything, he hit on the elbow, boom, ricochet off your head. Don't, don't do like this, boom, and keep that down, because he'll connect. So one, two. You got this elbow here. This, what we're gonna do is actually wrap around the arm, just like that, to neutralize it. Behind the elbow, if you get in front of it, he'll jerk it out, and then you're gonna get tagged. So one, two, wrap, put my head real tight here, just like this, just like this. Now look, he'll try to pull it out, just whoo, hang on, hang on to that arm. That's his number one weapon. That's his number one, and he'll be cussing, he'll be screaming, let go, mom, let go, and don't let it go, okay? So you're gonna ride it out like this, then you're gonna take your hand, put it on his chest, you're gonna come up to you find his throat. And then from here, we're just gonna gently squeeze right there to cause him to wanna relax, okay? And we're gonna tell him, hey man, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Now from here, there's a bunch of variables. You can do the arm, you can do a throat, you can end with that, you can smack, you can, you can run, whatever you wanna do. But, the main thing from being knocked out is don't be like this. Don't necessarily get right here like you're going to fight because there's a difference between being a fighter and a self-defense practitioner. Big difference, okay? So you don't have to get in the pool with the shark. You can stay out of it, make him get out, and then you take advantage of it. So a little bit faster, it looks like this. Boom, right here. Boom down, boom down, boom. Control the person or whatever you want, okay? I hope that helps you. And it don't matter if you're in a uniform, I'm glad you joined us for our first video. I wanna invite you to now to take a look at our fight scene and our film, The Victor March Story. It's on the channel. Go take a look right now. God bless you and remember, stay tough, not hard. God bless you.